We're only a few weeks away now from what will likely be a relatively low turnout November election, but the stakes are still high for the men and women trusted with protecting and counting those votes. In fact, most of them are relatively new on the job because in the last two years, a combination of stress, abuse and harassment have driven many county election directors out. Tonight, we look at those preparations and a group of people fighting to count the vote. that everything is posted for the board meeting. Three years ago, Dr. Amy Sam started a new career almost entirely by accident. It was 2020, just weeks before the June primaries, when the Pickens County election director and the county's entire election board resigned. Sam's was a librarian, and with libraries closed by the pandemic, she changed jobs to fill a sudden, urgent need. What was the adjustment like coming from libraries to <laughs> elections? Um, at the time that it was happening, it was really and truly just move as quickly as you can. We, we, didn't, we didn't even have time to stop and really think. It Dr. Sam's recent transition puts her in good company. According to the State Election Commission's annual report, more than half of all county election directors in South Carolina resigned or retired since January 2021, including five in the upstate. The SEC blames, quote, ongoing harassment threats and stress, specifically in the 2022 primary, finding, quote, targeted harassment and intimidation of poll workers. In your experience, is that something that's happening? Yes. Uh, uh, harassment, threats and stress? Yes. People have become um, physically intimidating to staff, to directors, and quite frankly, who wants to endure that? Joe Dill is vice chairman of Greenville County's Republican Party, and in that 2022 primary, the longtime council member lost. At the time, he claimed fraud, and while he has never made public threats, he has not backed down. I still do not believe that it was, everything was fair and that all the ballots got counted and that all the machines worked properly. Election directors say that lack of trust or fear of fraud is driving anger at their employees. Like Joe Dill, some voters feel the computerized touchscreens are less accurate or easier to manipulate, undermining their trust in elections. I don't believe public will ever trust the machine. What should happen is that when you, if you don't trust it, then you find something that you would trust, and that is the paper ballot. Nobody can manipulate a, a hole that you punch. Of course, punch cards aren't perfect either. It was paper ballots and so-called hanging chads that pushed a presidential election to the Supreme Court in 2000. That's how we got touch screens in the first place. These glorified printers that are never connected to the internet produce hard copy verifiable records of every vote. They're counted electronically for speed but are double checked by hand. We do two major audits. One is a sample audit where we go in and actually we don't even choose the precincts that we do this. This is chosen at random from the State Election Commission. They send us the, the election day, they'll send us the precincts that we have to go in and hand count. Conway Belangi is one of the state's most experienced election directors with almost 40 years on the job, the last 31 in Greenville yeah. County. I take a lot of pride, and most election officials do take a lot of pride in what we do uh, when we do a good job and people still want to throw you know, rotten tomatoes and, and things at us just because we're conducting the election. Both Belangia and Sam say they encourage anyone with concerns about the count to call, ask questions, sign up to work the polls. In fact, that approach already worked in Joe Dill's family. My wife works in a in the in the poll, and uh, she says, "Well, it's it's good." She said, "The people that work there, they make sure everything is good, that it turns out good." But the public out here doesn't have confidence in it. Election directors, experienced and new, say they need your confidence because nothing short of democracy itself hangs in the balance. Man, this thing hits a nerve. We, we ran a commercial for this story. No one had seen it yet, and our newsroom was flooded with angry calls about this issue. Joe Dill told us he had never questioned the results of one of his elections until the one he lost. Again, those electronic machines 
are never online. The hard copies can be and are counted by hand. And county election directors say they're still looking for more help. To become a poll worker, contact your county election office.